Blue Sky just took their first steps in releasing their project, a decentralized social networking protocol. Let's see why this could be a big game changer for social networks in the future. The Blue Sky project was started with the aim to create a decentralized social networking protocol that any platform can use. This lets individual networks create their own methods of content curation and moderation, while using an open standard that can be used across platforms. This would give users more control over their data by preventing it from being locked to a specific platform. This initiative was first announced in 2019 by then-current CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey. In that announcement, Jack talked about how large centralized platforms, such as Twitter, have problems that centralized solutions are struggling to solve. By creating a new decentralized, transparent protocol, Dorsey argued that it would improve user experience online, allow for larger cross-platform discussions, and prevent any single corporation from owning your data. Let's take a quick look at the challenges he cited, like recommendation algorithms and the amplification of negative content. As far as recommendation algorithms go, they can be problematic. They are typically proprietary, and there's little to no say in how it interacts with you. Many of these secretive algorithms also tend to manipulate their users' attention spans and emotional states, which strongly shapes how users interact with and behave on those platforms. Then there is the problem of the biases embedded within content. For starters, controversial and potentially harmful topics can get easily amplified because social media platforms are primarily focused on views and engagement. This leads to things like echo chambers that can amplify negative or dangerous content and ultimately ends up distracting users from things that would be beneficial or productive. After the 2019 Blue Sky Initiative announcement, Twitter reached out to the broader community in 2020 for proposals on how to build it. Eventually, Blue Sky was then incorporated as a public benefit LLC at the end of 2021. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and find it informative, support us by hitting the like button below. Next, we'll move on to the GitHub release and Elon Musk. Now back to the recent GitHub release. Blue Sky's repository is called the Authenticated Data Experiment, or ADX. It was released under the MIT license as an open source project. Currently, the project is still in its early stages, so things are very likely going to change as it develops. So I wouldn't make anything too crazy just yet, as it will likely be fully rewritten before its full release. Blue Sky is designed around two major parts, the speech layer and the reach layer. Let's get into the speech layer, or how people send messages. User accounts are controlled via public and private cryptographic keys. Whenever a user wants to post a message, it would get signed by the private key, so anyone who sees it can be sure where it came from. These messages would be stored in personal data servers which would be accessible to the larger network. Now for the reach layer, which allows users to search for content. As people post, indexers would automatically comb through these posts to make them searchable. The really great thing here is that users can choose any indexer so they can get whatever policies or features they need. Blue Sky also uses a federated network model, which means that multiple networks are connected together and share services and resources. Additionally, labeling services or users can also put labels on posts to filter unwanted content like malware or spam. Putting this all together, any application that adopts the Blue Sky protocol will be using a federated network solution to find and then access data with the help of indexers and filter the content based on labels or actions taken against targeted sources. Elon Musk, techno king of Tesla, recently made a deal to purchase Twitter for $44 billion. While the timing of the project's first public release is a little suspect of Elon Musk's offer, Blue Sky has been in the making for a few years now and is a completely separate company. But in regards to Blue Sky's future, this project does align roughly with Musk's goals of opening up the Twitter platform to increase trust and increase adoption of decentralized technologies. So at least for now, it looks like Twitter, under Elon Musk, is likely to continue funding Blue Sky development. If you have any questions about this or want to discuss these and other kinds of topics, follow me on Twitch to chat with me live or join our Discord. Finally, I'd like to thank you, my supporters, and my patrons on Patreon. If you also want to support this channel and learn more, check out the link in the description below. Additionally, Elon Musk, Techno King of Tesla. <laughs>